How's it going guys? Zach Lyons wait here. A lot of you guys have been asking me, what's in your bag? What are you throwing? So I've kind of decided to just make an in the bag video. Um, let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. So to start off, the bag I've been using is the Dynamic Discs Trooper bag. Um, super good bag. It's been very reliable. Um, it's not super big, but it does exactly what I need. So thank you Dynamic Discs for the Trooper bag. Let's jump into the putters. So for my putting putters, I am throw I am putting two D-line P2s um, with an Eagle stamp and with a Simon Lazat stamp. These have been a staple putter in my bag for a couple months now. And I love these putters, they're super straight for me. Uh, these are a little beat up, so they're a little older. Um, but they've been flying super straight for me and I can really rely on them um, into a tailwind, into a headwind. They're super good putters for me. And I imagine I'll be sticking with them for probably a little while longer. Um, I also have the Evolution Line XO Hard Link. I have one in the bag right now. I am using this one for when it's super, super windy. Uh, I just feel like it's a little bit more reliable in that crazy wind. Um, the P2, the D-Line P2 will, it'll do good in the wind, but I can really rely on the link when it's a little bit crazier. For my throwing putters, I have a Glow C-Line P2. It is a Sky God 3 edition, uh, Simon Lazat signature disc. I love this disc. It is very stable for me. I can put pretty much any amount of power into it and it'll hold very straight. Um, it doesn't quite have the over stability and that is why I have this disc. The Tactic. Um, I have one in the Exosoft plastic and I have one in the Vapor Razor Claw variety. Uh, Eagle McMahon signature disc. I love this disc. It's very overstable for me and I've been loving this. Very overstable and it'll it's a very reliable disc especially for the wind. Um, backhand, forehand, I'm throwing this disc all the time. I love it. Now for my mid-ranges. I'm carrying three mid-ranges at the moment. First one is a Luster MD. This one is pretty understable for me. Um, I can pop this one out on a hyzer. It'll pop up to flat and maybe even finish out to the right a little bit. Um, this one has a super pretty flight whenever I get it going on the right path. Um, pretty good disc in my bag right now. And then I'm carrying two MD3s, one in the C-Line. Um, plastic. Love the, loving this disc. This one is probably my straightest flying disc in my bag right now. Put it out on any amount of power and it's just going to fly straight with a little bit of left finish. This one is going to be my S-Line MD3 um, with the signature Zach Lyons Wade stamp. Shout out to Hannah Mon, aka my girlfriend, for drawing this one up for me. Um, super cool stamp love this um, this one is pretty overstable for me uh, for an MD3 um, loving this one for hyzer flip to flat and then finish out strong to the right or to the left I'm sorry um, super good flight with this one I love it Now to fairway drivers. I'm carrying only four fairways at the moment. Um, first one I want to talk about is this Evolution Neo Essence. Love this disc. Um, this is going to be classified as a turning driver. Not so much flippy, but turning. It'll hold a constant turn. And I use it for rollers as well. But for the most part, I'm using it to start off on a hyzer, flip up to flat, and then constant fade to the right. Love this disc. Um, super good in the woods, 
super good for utility, loving it. And then probably one of my favorite discs in my bag right now, the Neo Instinct. Um, love this disc for forehands, backhands. Um, I can control this one probably better than any other disc in my bag. It is a seven speed and it's gonna be very reliable in the wind. You can sometimes get it down on a roller and it's just gonna be super good for me. I'm carrying two FD3s, one in the C-Line plastic. Um, this is my go-to FD3, probably one of the most thrown discs in my bag right now. Super reliable, constant, reliable finish. Um, four hands mostly, usually mo using this for four hands, very overstable, but not as overstable as my Swirly S-Line FD3 in the Doombird 3 edition. This is another Simon Lazat Signature Series disc. Loving this disc. Now for distance drivers. First one I want to talk about is my Neo Enigma. Um, this one is pretty understable. Probably my furthest flying distance driver though. I can pop this one out on a hyzer and it's gonna pop up to flat and then have a lot of turn, but it'll always finish out to the left like I need it to. Um, I'll be throwing this one for ranges from about 400 to 550 probably. I'll be using the Enigma. Um, mostly on an open course though, because it needs a lot of room to move. The next one, probably my favorite disc in my bag right now is the ESP Force um, with the Rapunzel Rapunzel design on it. Loving this disc. Um, it's a little beat up, so it's not as overstable as a new Force would be. Um, but I can pop this one out on a hyzer and it's going to ride flat for the longest time and always have a consistent finish to the left. Loving this disc for forehands and backhands. Uh, mostly backhand though, and I can really rip on this one. Love this disc. Also carrying three DD3s, um, two in the Cloud Breaker um, variety, one in the regular S-Line uh, DD3. This one I love for four hands. Um, probably my max distance four hands are gonna be with this DD3. Uh, love this disc, super grippy, plastic, feels super comfortable in the hand. And for these, Cloud Breakers. This is also my main, uh, one of my main forehand discs. Love this disc for forehands. It'll go as far as I need it to um, and have a consistent finish. It's a little bit beaten in though, so it's not as overstable as this brand new Cloud Breaker. Beautiful tie-dye design. Loving this disc for consistent finishes to the left on hyzers, uh, backhand hyzers, and the more I use it, the more beat in it'll get, and the more distance I'll be able to get with this one. But loving these discs. Now I have the Glow Sea Line PD uh, Dark Mall 2, the Avery Jenkins signature disc. Love this disc, love this plastic, same plastic as my Glow P2. Um, but this one is pretty similar to a Force. Uh, pretty stable, but this one's not as fast. It's only a 10 speed But I love this disc for skip shots uh, Four hands that I need to get to the ground quick um, Really love this disc and also last disc is my Swirly S line PD2 the most overstable disc in my bag right now beautiful elephant stamp um, Loving this one for forehands that I need to have a super hard finish to the right, backhands I need to have super hard finish to the left, super high towering hyzer shots. I'm going for my PD2 and very reliable in the wind as well. Um, if there's crazy wind, I'll usually use this in place of my DD3s because I know I can rely on this in the wind. So loving this disc.
and that's gonna be what's in my bag. Um, I know a lot of you have been asking what's what's in my bag, what am I carrying, what am I throwing? So there it is for you. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. Thanks so much for watching.